if you've ever done this, you know what wind drag is all about. And when it comes to pulling a hollow box behind your tow vehicle, wind drag is the biggest enemy of fuel efficiency. Coming up, a simple solution to improve your MPGs while towing. Pulling an RV is pretty much an exercise in major fuel consumption. And it really isn't so much about the weight you're towing, but more about that wind resistance. You can see my speedometer. I have the cruise set at 60 miles per hour. We're on a flat straightaway, so whenever I'm on a flat uh, road where there's not much elevation change, I put it on cruise and allows me to rest a little bit and just makes it a little bit more efficient. And for this whole trip, we're averaging 12.2 miles per gallon, which is a lot better than before. We took a road trip to the Oregon coast in July and I wasn't using cruise control, but more significantly, I was going about 65 or 70 miles an hour and 60 miles per gallon per hour rather is the magic number it dramatically improves your fuel efficiency and I've noticed that any mile per hour over 60 really has a dramatic impact and so our trip to the Oregon coast in July where I was not holding it at 60 I was going 65 and sometimes 70 I averaged about 10 miles per gallon or a little bit less. On this trip, I'm over 12. That's a huge improvement. And so when we're out here on the road, we're not in a big hurry and uh, getting to the destination is part of the journey. And, uh, and so the big thing is the fuel efficiency and safety, you just feel a lot more comfortable going 60 miles an hour when you're trailering and pulling the trailer especially when you pass semis or have wind gusts. It just feels a lot safer and it's more economical, but it's also a little bit easier logistically to uh, think about time. 300 miles is about five hours and that's kind of our uh, target for the day. We don't really want to travel more than 330 miles a day and we want to get to our destination by 3.30 in the afternoon and that's our 3.30 rule and uh, going 60 miles an hour uh, more efficient and makes it uh, easy math. So it works for us and definitely um, something worth considering when you factor in all of the elements in terms of safety, efficiency and um, mapping it out from a math standpoint. So there you have it. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe today and don't forget to nudge the like button.